give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. So, up next. So it's Professor Howard's Perfect Choir Dairy Call the Knapsack, which I have no idea where to find one of them. Uh, Professor Garlic's Assignment. Growing harvest flux weed, acquire all three common plants and use them simultaneously. And Professor Weasley's assignment. Let the field guide page in the underground harbour. Collect the field guide page from the book on immediate transfiguration in the library. Okay. Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh my god. Go to the boathouse. I really should look into gillyweed, although I still need to swim. Huh. <laughs> right. Never been down here before. Uh. Can't enter the wrong mountain, so I'll have to swim in. Okay. Can I get... Ah. So this is the underground harbour. Yeah, I didn't know about this place. Never knew this was here. Revelio. Ah. Underground Harbour, located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard, is a landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Oh! So that's where they put them. Oh. Clever. I didn't even know that. Fire Duck Courtyard. Oh, yeah. I've seen that door before. Clever. Now this puzzle thing, I never actually figured out. Just wondering if there's any other clues, because that one's already lit up. Oh. I didn't notice that before. Ah. Confringo. Light all them up. That one's a three symbol. Triangles are one. That one's the one. Confringo. Was that the wrong order? Circles are two, yeah. This one's three. Oh, uh, four. Aha. Oh. Ha. 
Library field guide page. I remember getting one in the library, but I don't remember Do you suppose Black which one. I think I also remember seeing there was like some chest back here. Yeah. I won. Oh my god, that worked. Ah. Nice. Can bring up. See. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Huh. Okay. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Yeah. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? Quiz. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Uh, sure. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snuggery. The Golden Snidget. The Snake Bird. Uh... That sounds plausible. Snuggery just sounds like... I don't know. Some weird thing. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget what was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Uh, Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Ha! <laughs> the Deathly Hallows. The Hallow. Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak, and of, the cloak Invisibility. of Invisibility. Which ball yeah. in Quidditch is the largest? Which ball? Uh, the budge. No, quaffle sounds like the term. The quaffle, that's right. When oh a chaser God. throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Uh, false, false. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like going. to answer more questions. 
What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? Governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? National Confederation of Wizards, the Order of Merlin, the Wizards Council. Ministry of Magic. It's the National Confederation of Wizards, that's... Hmm, I can't remember what that's from. I guess it's The that. Wizards Council. That's correct. The Wizards Council disbanded oh, in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? Uh... Peruvian Viper Tooth. Great. The Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth ah. is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Who founded? Oh my Christ. Uh. Hengis of Woodcroft. Alfreda Clagg, Quincy Hogg. I was said him. But then that also sounds like an historic one. Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the three broomsticks in as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? Hide behind. Now knowing things I'd like to hide is gotta be a demi guys. A demi guys. Yes. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? Well, repelling charms of the Patronus. The Patronus charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a Lethifold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Gamp. Ha! <laughs> ha! Vantine Orbing turned the bar to Marcy. Oh my god, when in doubt go for stupid. Gamp. That's it! One of the oh principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? I think I've seen Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon before, hence the statue. Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon. In Latin, yes. the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? I'm sorry. <laughs> Basilisk. No. Asswinder. These two I've heard, but not that. The yes. rune spore. That's right! According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Uh. The Pyrenees? No. Amazon Rainforest. That sounds a bit more wizardy, so... Mount Greylock. Well done! The American oh, yes. school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? <sighs> oh my god. 
I think they said this once in the film. I can't remember what it is. Um. Uh, and more. So that kind of sounds like. Amatentia. Yeah. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive. Such as dusty book covers or. <clears throat> That's the one. Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. It's got to be an achievement to do this, so might as well. Give me your worst. Wonderful. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Eggbert the Egg <laughs> Oh, please be that, that. Please. Eggbert the Egregious. That's right. Yeah. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? <sighs> Blatching, stooging. Uh. Guess. Have a sucking. That's right. Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Mackled malaclaw? Huh. Here he is, web feet. Bad luck. Bad luck. Correct. Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? What plant? Stink sap. Uh. Forest bean. When in doubt, go for stupid. Mimbleus mimbletonia. Correct. The Mimbleus mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Uh. That just sounds hilarious. Linford of Stinchcombe. Very good. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linford's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? A smaller pot. <laughs> uh. The wizard of the hopping pot, what does the elder wizard leave his son on the hopping pot? I would just, I would love for it to be a smaller pot. But that just sounds hilarious as well. A single slipper. A single slipper. That's correct! The story was created by Beadle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? Uh. Snallygaster. God. Guess. North America. That's right. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Someone who's not very fortunate, so maybe that. Just for the reverse. Sir Luckless. Correct. The three witches oh in God. the story are named Asher, Althea, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest kelpie is also known by what other name? Uh. 
The Loch Ness Monster, no. The Loch Ness Monster? Correct. The Office of Misinformation oh has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Uh... That sounds hilarious. You lit Gamp. Yes. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. I'm frankly astonished by how well you did. You have a talent for trivia. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! Ah. Book of Media Transfiguration. The book is designed to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley, Weasley often recommends it to our advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. So during that quiz, we only got potions. That's a bit lame. <laughs> Before we go a little bit something like that, not just a potion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 